In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can simplify an algebraic expression where we're asked to distribute and combine like terms. In order to decide how to simplify these, we will take something from order of operations, which says to multiply first and then add second. Following this order of operations when simplifying, we will do our multiplication step first, which is what we did when we distributed. We will distribute first and then add second, and adding was when we combine the like terms. So let's try a couple examples where we're asked to distribute first and combine like terms second. Here, there are several parentheses with numbers in front of them. When we see a parentheses with a number in front, we know we should distribute into it and multiply through the parentheses. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. On the second part, when we distribute, we need to be very careful of what we're distributing. A common error students make is they only distribute 5. But remember, this means the opposite of 5, subtract 5, and also negative 5 all at the same time. We are actually distributing negative 5. Negative 5 times 3x is negative 15, and negative 5 times negative 7 is positive 35. Whoops, I lost my x. Negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x and a negative times a negative is a positive 35. Now that we've distributed, we're ready to combine like terms. We'll look at the 8x, and what is like the 8x? The negative 15x. 8 and negative 15 will give us negative 7 of these x's remaining. The other like term that we have is the negative 24 and the positive 35. By not having any variables at all means they are in common with no variables. They are like terms. The positive is bigger, and when we do 35 minus 24, we end up with 11. Our final answer is negative 7x plus 11. We can't simplify any further because they are not like terms. The negative 7 has an x, the 11 does not. Let's try this example. Again, we see that we have to distribute through parentheses first. 3 times a is 3a. 3 times 5b gives us positive 15 of these b's. 3 times negative 2 gives us negative 6. We will also want to distribute on the right side. However, there's no number in front to distribute. If there's no number written, we always assume that the number 1 is in front of anything. So what this really is asking us to distribute is, don't forget the negative, we're distributing negative 1 through. Negative 1 times 6a is negative 6a. Negative 1 times negative 7b, negative times a negative is a positive, 7b, and negative 1 times positive 4 is negative 4. Now we're ready to go back and combine our like terms. Just going left to right, we have 3a, and what's like it is the negative 6a. This leaves behind negative 3 of these a's. We also have 15b's which is like the 7 b's. 15 and 7 gives us positive 22 of these b's. Finally, negative 6 is like the negative 4, both with the same sign, stays negative. Adding the numbers gives us minus 10, and we get our final solution, negative 3a plus 22b minus 10. We distribute first, and combine like terms second.